hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. What is an HSE culture? It's an organizational culture in which not only safety, but also occupational health and the environment are given priority in the way people think and act. At its best, it means that world-class HSE is how we do business round here. The term safety culture was first used by the International Atomic Energy Authority to explain how the 1986 Chernobyl disaster could happen. The disaster didn't happen because of the technology or the operator's skills. These were the best operators in the Soviet Union. It was a weak safety culture that meant that two explosions blew off the 1,000-ton concrete ceiling cap on the Chernobyl 4 reactor, causing the release of molten nuclear core fragments into the atmosphere and contaminating 400 square miles around the Ukrainian plant and greatly increasing the risk of cancer across large areas of Western and Northern Europe. How strong is your HSE culture? The best way to understand an HSE culture is in terms of an evolutionary ladder. Each level has distinct characteristics and is a progression on the one before. The range runs from the pathological, through the reactive, to the calculative, and then on to proactive, and the final stage that we call the generative. Pathological is where people don't really care about safety, let alone health or the environment, and are only driven by regulatory compliance and not getting caught. At this level, you can hear people say things like, of course we have accidents, it's a dangerous business. Bad news is ignored. Reactive is where safety is taken seriously, but it only gets sufficient attention after things have already gone wrong. People say things like, you have to understand it's different here. At the reactive level, managers say that they take safety seriously, but feel frustrated. If only they would do what they're supposed to. We need to enforce compliance. Bad news is kept hidden. The next level is calculative. This is where an organization is comfortable with systems and numbers. A management system has been implemented successfully, and because health, safety, and the environment is taken very seriously, there's a major concentration upon the statistics. Bonuses are tied to them. Contractors are rated in terms of their safety record, not just because they're the cheapest. Bad news is tolerated, but still unwelcome. In calculative organizations, lots of data is collected and analyzed, and people feel comfortable making changes to procedures and processes. There are many audits, and people begin to feel that they've cracked it. Nevertheless, businesses at this level still hurt people and are surprised when this happens. The system should have worked. The proactive level is moving away from managing HSE based on what happened in the past to really looking forward, not just working to prevent last week's accident. Proactive organizations consider what might go wrong in the future and take steps before being forced to. Proactive organizations are those where the workforce become involved in practice, not just in theory. As an organization climbs up the ladder, the level of informedness and trust increases. Informedness is about managers knowing what is happening in their organization and where the problems are. The workforce knows exactly what managers expect. No mixed messages. Because managers and workers are aligned, this builds two-way trust. Because people know what is expected of them and can be trusted to do it, there's less need for bureaucracy, audits, and supervision. So workload decreases after the calculative stage. People offer to accept accountabilities, you can count on me, rather than just being told that they will be held accountable for some outcome.
Generative organizations set very high standards and attempt to exceed them rather than be satisfied with minimum compliance. They are brutally honest about failure, but use it to improve, not to blame. We don't expect to get it right all the time as long as we continue to get better. Management knows what's really going on because the workforce is willing to tell them and trusts them not to overreact on hearing unwelcome news. People live in a state of chronic unease and are mindful of what could go wrong, trying to be as informed as possible because it prepares them for whatever will be thrown at them next. At this level, bad news is actively looked for because it provides the best opportunity to learn. So messengers are trained and welcomed. Looking at an HSE culture in terms of this maturity ladder provides a route map where every team or company has a certain level of cultural maturity and can see which rung of the ladder they're on, where they've been, and what the next step looks like. Where is your organization? Would you like to progress up that ladder, and what will you do to start moving to the next level of maturity?